Hello and welcome. I'm Carol Deshane and I am an intuitive, transformational life and business coach and multidimensional energy light worker. Today I want to talk about wasting time. We only have in this lifetime a finite amount of time. And it's precious to us because you get to the when you that you die, they say, you look back and you say, it's not what I did, it's what I didn't do that I'm sorry. I didn't take time with my family. I didn't do the things that were the most important things to me. I wasted a lot of time because I did things that maybe I was going in circles, getting things done. Why did I spend so much time doing this thing or that thing when the things I really wanted to do on that bucket list didn't get accomplished? So what do you do? If you look at the end of your day, every day, and you say, what did I do today? Do I feel good about it? And what did I want to do today? What do I want my life to look like? If you look at what your life is and what you want it to be, look at the future and you say, what is it that I want in this lifetime? What do I want to do? Because if you look at the future and you go, okay, is my trajectory taking me in the direction I want to do? Do I want to get to the end of my life and say, I had a great career. I love my career. Good. Then yes, that's going to be part of it. If you love it and you did a lot, but if you had two divorces because of it, never saw your kids and they aren't speaking to you, then you're not going to be so happy with your career necessarily unless those people meant nothing to you and they still don't. Make sure you know what's important to you so that you take that precious time and you use it as you should. You use it and it makes you happier. You use it the way it makes a difference for you. And make sure that the things that don't, that aren't important to you, what do you do? Is there a way to let rid, get rid of those? Take them off the list totally. If it has to do with cleaning your house, yeah, it needs to be done. But do you have to do it? If you have kids and there's an old-fashioned allowance thing, maybe you don't just give people money. Maybe they have things they have to do. Maybe that's their job. One does the vacuuming, like in my, a long time back in the dark ages, my sister did the vacuuming and I did the dusting. I was too lightweight. I couldn't seem to push the darn heavy vacuum around. I did ironing of the easy stuff. My mother did the ironing of the harder stuff. My sister washed because I couldn't wash dishes to save my life and get them clean. And I dried and put things away. So we did things that were part of our allowance. Until my sister moved away because she was older than me. And then <laughs> my mother had to do more. But you can also hire people. And some, if you have enough money for that, I have to say, I finally got around to hiring a, a cleaning person for me, a housekeeper that comes once a month, just once a month. It's not so bad. But oh my God, it takes that off my plate. And I never like doing it. She does the bathrooms. She does the floors. She does everything but the windows. And I love that. I come in and I take a moment and I look around and go, oh yeah, I didn't have to do it and it's clean. Because it's time I don't want to waste doing that. I think that you look at all the things that you need to do for your day and start writing down a list. Yeah, I know, that's me. Write a list. Or at least remember all those things you really didn't want to do that you had to do. Did you have to go grocery shopping? Did you And you hate it. Do you have to do this or have to do that? Well, there are people that will grocery shop for you. Costco, you go online and you can get, there's two different sections. If you know Costco, if you're listening, uh, it's a big warehouse store. They have the ones that will just deliver the heavy stuff for you. The things that aren't, uh, not fragile, but they're not uh, the kind that goes bad. So I've got my water, which is super heavy. I got toilet paper, which is hard because it's heavy. I mean, it's not heavy. It's, it's just voluminous and it's kind of big. All the, uh, you know, like I have to do a lot of nuts because I'm a vegetarian. So all those heavier things and the bigger things, I have delivered to my house now unless I happen to be going there anyway, especially the heavy things. It doesn't cost that much more. No time, no worry. And then the things that have problems with, going bad, the, the things that are refrigerated, they do those separately and they actually have a shopper going do it for you. I love that. They call, I think they call it Instacart with them. But when you order those, you still don't have to go. You can go to Safeway and you can have them, another grocery store in the area here. They will also deliver to your house. And since they're right across the street from me, 
I usually tend to go on my own because I like grocery shopping. But some people, if it's a waste of your precious time, don't do it. If they're, it's not going to be that much more expensive to have it delivered. And sometimes it's free if you order a certain amount. Just don't waste your time on things you don't enjoy. Know what those things are. What sucks your time that you don't want? Maybe you don't enjoy being out at work. How can you find either a different job, fewer hours? What can you find that you can shift about that? And don't think you're stuck because you're not. There are so many options out there. You just have to be willing to take the step back and look at how you can adjust what you're doing with your time and how valuable those things are to you. Look at your day. That's the best way to start. And then after you look at your day, you see all the things you don't want to do. And you, at the end of every day, what did you do? I went to work. I came home. I sat around and watched TV. I played computer games. I loved it. It was fun. Okay, great. If that's your reality and that's what you want, then that's wonderful. My reality tends to look like, and it's not anybody else's, I go to work because I have a day job. I come back. I might be going on audacity and cutting my podcast down because I want to be able to put it and maybe I put it together after I, I chop it up and then I put it on, on up on Buzzsprout. That's where my platform is to get it all set up. Maybe I write the, the description or I contact new guests and, and I do stuff for that. I also do some, I do all sorts of other things that are work, kind of work related, but not my job related, the business stuff. Uh, I have all sorts of different things I do. And sometimes it seems like busy work. And then I have to sit back and go, wait, did I like that? I recently hired a VA assistant because I really don't want to do that. That's how come I have an Instagram account now. I didn't know how to do it. And I didn't want to take the time to learn. I wanted someone else to set it up for me, to get it going for me, and then maybe, and for now, keep it up for me, and especially to advertise the podcast because it's kind of new. I've moved from a radio show. And because of that, I realized I didn't want to spend all those hours. I enjoy listening to the podcast after it's been recorded and cutting it back and learning it. And, and when I have guests, and sometimes it's just me, it's just really relearning some of the things that I've already said it or that my guest has said and I wanted to remember. And I go, wow, this was, it's really good. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy putting it together and learning all that. But I don't enjoy, I don't have the time and I don't enjoy like always have, I always forgot to put stuff on Facebook. So that is being done for me as well. There are different things that you have to look at in your life. What's wasting time? And what's giving me value? What's making me feel good? Like I'm moving forward. And once you know what you want in your life, what you don't want, you looked at at the end of each day, but what do you want? What do you want to accomplish? And what of those things do you want to do yourself? Once you know what those things are, you can make a plan. You can make a plan for the future. You can make a plan for tomorrow or all the way down the line. And the plan may be like mine was, I want to get more information out there. Podcast. The radio show was great, but I want to pull back a little on the finances, so I'm going to go out with the podcast. I need to advertise it more myself, so what do I do? Well, hire somebody to get it out there. Let's do the Instagram. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's find a way to make it work. And when you do that, that is when you have that ability to really feel at the end of the day that it's what you wanted to accomplish. It's what you wanted to do for you. Forget cleaning unless cleaning is your way of really working things out, running, walking, sometimes your way people have of, of really thinking through things. And some people it's gardening and maybe it's cleaning is your thing. I like to garden. I now have a condo. My gardening consists of watering the few plants I have. I don't go out and deadhead roses anymore or do those things that I used to really I, it was like a Zen sort of thing. It wasn't that I enjoyed it, but I still kind of looked forward to it and I'd have music and I, you know, I just loved seeing the garden grow because of everything I'd done. That was my way of, so other people would have been wasting time, but for me, it was like my way of just really feeling like I was connecting to spirit, 
And it was sort of a meditation in a way, the way I did it. Other people have other ways. Know yours. Know the difference between wasting time, enjoying your time, and getting things accomplished, but not really liking it. And then loving the things you do. When I give myself a break and I want to do something, I can't just sit there and watch TV unless it's an excellent show. The Masked Singer, I have to say, I absolutely adore. It's so much fun to watch. But most of them, I don't need to sit there and watch and have nothing else happening. So I'll be working, I'll be posting things, I'll be doing things while I am watching TV because I can do more than one thing at a time. But just sitting there drives me crazy. When I want to do something I really love and it's not work or business related, then I sit there and if I have a bunch of time, I'll do a jigsaw puzzle. Pop popcorn, get a little chocolate, have a good movie on, or maybe even a Hallmark movie, but or or whatever kind it was. I know I remember going through all of the Harry Potter in a row at one point because I hadn't seen them back to back before. And and reading, I mean, whatever it is that I want to do, I decide I want to have some time for me. What's it gonna be? I'm gonna go read a novel and sit in the bubble bath. I'm gonna do whatever it is, but I'm not just gonna have my brain go, I think I'll do a, maybe a game on the computer. That's not my thing. I do it too much sometimes, but it's not really my thing that makes me feel like it was my relaxation time. When I'm at the end of the day, the thing that matters to me is, did I love what I was doing? Did I accomplish something that felt good? What is it that makes you feel like you're not wasting time? That you really are accomplishing things that make a, a difference to you? When you get to the end of your life, how are you doing so far? Are you going to look back and say, oh my God, what did I do? I didn't do anything. I wasted my life. I didn't do the things I meant to do. Or maybe you never had a plan. You didn't know what you wanted. Make one. Think about the things that are important to you. It doesn't mean you have to have actively do it every single day, but at least know you're heading in the direction that makes you happy. Don't wait. Time is precious. Do it now. Don't wait to have your life begin. To start enjoying your life. Love yourself enough to do it right this minute. I think that's enough for today. I want you to really look at your life and just know that it's your choices. No one else can make them for you. So thank you for joining me today. I am Carol Deshane, and if you like what you hear, do subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the bell notification if you want to know the next time a video is posted every Sunday night, at least have for the last two years so far. And the next one, I'm all planned out. I do. I put out the Joy Corner, which are I Am affirmations of all different types that you can use as one of the tools to get into your subconscious mind and help you move forward. I also have a bunch of guided visualizations. If you dig back deep enough, back in, I think, 2019, and every single month, uh, I had four or five of them coming out. And of course, these types of just informational videos that I just talk with you and hope that it's something that connects to what you need. You can also check out the Instagram I mentioned, which is connect to joy. I was going to say dot com, connect to joy, connect the number two joy. Please follow me there. Check out my website, which is also connectedjoy.com, and you'll find a lot of information there about life coaching, as well as what you can do for you to move forward. Until next time, please remember, you are already enough to have that joyful, limitless life that you desire. So don't be afraid to take those steps that you need to really make it that way. Oh podcast is called Living Your Limitless Life, and I'll put that link below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.